My name's Elora Grant. I got diagnosed with Tourette's last year. Um, and with Tourette's, I have motor and vocal tics. So it means I shout a bit and also my arms will move <coughs> like that. My arms will move, my legs will move, they'll stiffen up. Um, so for the, the re for the for this year and last year, I've been dealing with it. Um, I was in Tesco's shopping, picking up a magazine, um, and I was tw ticking. <laughs> I was ticking quite bad, um, and the lady, the elderly lady in in Tesco, came up to me and said. Do you know Tesco's is a 24 hour shop? Thinking nothing of it, I said, yeah, of course I do, why? And she turned to me and said, well, can you not come at, in the night when all the normal people are in bed? And I said, would you say that to somebody that's in a wheelchair or had autism? Um, and she, she didn't know what to say and she just walked off. So people like that, that they need a better understanding of Tourette's. I'm Jordan Petfer and I'm 22 years old. I got um, meningitis when I was five years old. I got a um, bug on my brain. Well, I can't really hear out of my right ear, but I've got like, I'd say around 20% left of my hearing in my left ear. And um, it's getting worse as I get older. Um. Me and Jordan met through Facebook and going to the pub um, and I, I was really upset at first because I didn't think he was noticing me um, from ticking and everybody else were looking at me and I was like, well, I want him to look at me. Um, and then we got chatting and I saw that he was deaf and I thought, this might be a good thing. <laughs> um, we went out a few times and if I was saying anything really rude, like something that you wouldn't want your first date, you wouldn't want to say on your first date, um, I'd ask him to turn his hearing aid down or does not listen to me. Um, and there were a few times where when we first met I said quite a few things that were quite inappropriate. <laughs> um, but no, we really hit it off and it was great. I've, I liked it, to be honest, because uh, I've, I don't think I've ever been in a relationship with uh, another girl who's got a disability and uh, it made it all right for me as well because she helps me all the time and she, she, she's uh, probably done more than um, anybody else that I've ever met in my life for me. She she will help me with things like um, phone calls and stuff and um, s stuff, stuff, big, big words and, and things, <laughs> things that I don't understand. And um, I will uh, help her with physical, more physical things because I'm probably uh, better using my hands and my brain. <laughs> um, day to day, there's things that Jordan can't do, like phone calls, because he can't hear. Um, understanding new people and things like that, I can help him communicate. <coughs> and also, Jordan helps me prepare food, helps me do the washing, um, ironing, things that I can't do and when I'm having a violent tick and I need to calm down he'll just hold me until it's over if I'm having a really ticky day um, so we like kind of even each other out because things I can't do Jordan does and vice versa so it's good